The Celtics swept the Abu Dhabi games by taking two against the Denver Nuggets at Etihad Arena and now get a week off before playing an irregular preseason back-to-back -back against the 76ers and Raptors. While the first game in the United Arab Emirates was a nail-biter, the second of two was a blowout W as Boston torched the Nuggets by 26. After Brown, Tatum, and White went off before checking out early in the second half, another takeover from Pritchard commenced that this time resulted in a merciless beatdown. Stay tuned. Right quick, over 75% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and follow at DFlowHoops on Instagram and X for a follow back. Thank you for your support. You're tremendously appreciated. The undervalued who didn't get enough credit for his contributions to 2024's title, Lou Cornette, replaced Al Horford in the starting five for a second straight game, while for the Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr., Russell Westbrook, and Aaron Gordon were sitting out this time. Tatum's improved jump shooting with his quicker release was on display in Game 1 of the Abu Dhabi games as he made three of his seven shots from deep range in that outing. He picked up where he left off in Game 2 as Jason hit two opening quarter triples, the first after D. White snatched it away from Jokic and found him on the right wing, and the second on the fast break after a hezzy stop on a dime. Tatum would get it going from the high post by leaning back on Christian Brown for the high arc in J and backing down Zeke Naji and doing the same thing. Meanwhile, the fact that Jalen Brown's developed even more is completely terrifying for opponents and fairly insane given how far he's already come as a player throughout the years. He's taken his game to a different level in terms of his increased physicality, and that's a game changer. Following the holiday deflection, Brown collects the steal and proceeds to body right through Chanchar on the other end before seamlessly completing the and one. It's then Brown going from force to finesse by hitting Hunter Tyson with a behind hezzy tween momentum combo before transitioning to the post, planning his right pivot, turning off it, and fading off one leg for the bucket. Insane footwork. Tatum and Brown combined for 19 of the 34 opening quarter points for the Celtics, while White and Holiday combined for the other 15. Sam Hauser would get into the action in the second quarter, going off the dribble for a restricted area fallaway, and spotting up from the left wing. After the steal from Walsh, it's Jordan then pitching it to Hauser as the trailer to make it eight straight for Uncle Sam. Next, a drive-in collapse from Pritchard opens up Jaden Springer on the left wing for the triple. Good to see Springer getting involved with the second unit. Jaden finished with six points and has a plus 19. But back to Uncle Sam, as Tatum would check back in to find Hauser spotted up in the right corner. Off the swing swing, White would get Strother jumping and pull up from 15. Jalen Brown bailed the Celtics out near the end of the shot clock by spinning on the retrieval, MJ tweening, spinning into the post and floating it over Murray before hitting Jamal with a too small celly. Nasty work. The next offensive possession saw Brown seal Murray, then receive it in the post and touch pass it swiftly to Luke Cornett. It was then Cornette receiving it on the roll and drawing the and one on Jokic. Off the white steal, Derek would perfectly push it ahead to find a streaking Brown who burst out for this monster two-hander. Continuing his dominant showing, Brown would unhesitantly step into this pull-up triple in the face of Strother. Holiday rested the second half again, but White, Brown, and Tatum remained on the court to open the second half, unlike in Game 1 of the Abu Dhabi games. Brown would work himself open off a double flare screen set by White and Keita before spotting up for the triple off the Tatum SLOB assist. Swing swing action finds Brown in the corner where he upfakes, hesitates, then flies through the air to fend off the Saric contact and flashes the muscle. High skip pass from Pritchard finds Tatum in the same corner Jalen just was, and Jason hits the triple despite a hard closeout from Christian Brown. Jason, Jalen, and Derek would check out the play after that, so their time in the third was short-lived, but that's when Pritchard would take over, and it would lead to the blowout getting out of hand. Despite losing control initially, Peyton's able to get the first step, then get the angle on Julian Strother to ultimately draw the and one. The Nuggets let Pritchard walk into this 28-footer and Peyton takes advantage with his off-the-dribble shooting prowess. Empty side pick and roll with Walsh sees Peyton float up the entry and Jordan execute. From the same spot Peyton hit a shot from a few possessions earlier, Jaden Springer sets up Pritchard with a semi-transition drive and kick right here, and he hits it plus the foul. Pritchard using a cross screen from Tillman sees the Nuggets keep Chanchar on him, only for Peyton to expose him off the bounce. Picture perfect pick and pop sees Pritchard set up Tillman for the wide open triple. In the fourth frame, someone who didn't receive enough attention in my last video for a solid spurt in Drew Peterson was able to make a couple plays. He would attack Hunter Tyson in semi transition and get to a fadeaway from the top of the foul line, and a few possessions later, pull up off the dribble from deep. 
J.D. Davison would penetrate the lane and make an athletic take to the cup, then off a Lonnie Walker pick, hit a triple after the Nuggets opted to go under. It was a massacre when it was all said and done, as overseas the Seas put on an absolute show and now return to the Boston Harbor for three more preseason games. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.